now we are going to create a new folder to create a project so first we use mkdil and then we use upload files and then we go inside the files and then we go inside this folder and then we type code dot after we open the vs code we can now go to create a file we call this as app.js and then we open the terminal and we are going to use express express file upload and also ejs and if you haven't installed the nokmon you should also type nokmon here but I already installed it, so I will skip this. I forgot to init the project, so we should type npm init. And if you want to skip all the process, you can type dash dash wide. And now we have this package.json. And then we, we use the command before to install the npm package now after we installed we can create a folders called wheels and then inside the folders we should create a file called index.ejs and then we are going to use the express by using constant uh, we should go back to the app.js and then we should use constant express is equal to require express and then constant file upload is equal to require express file upload and then the constant app is equal to express and then after we create this express app we can use the file upload by using app.use file upload and then since we want to use the app engine ejs so we should also set this by using app.set view engine now if you want to go to the index page so we should use app.get and then forward slash and then if someone type forward slash we should handle it by using rest.render and we are going to render the index.ejs and we do not need to type the file type here it will automatically find this file so we save all and then we back to the EJS and we type some HTML here and then we type h3 and upload files so we can see something and at last in order to get the index we have to listen so we type app.listen we use the port 5000 and then we pop out the message the server start so we can clear all the message and then type the mount app now if we go to localhost 5000 we can see the upload files here and then we are focusing on creating the form to upload the files so first we are going to use the form and the action is forward slash and the method is post and the en c type is equal to the form data for uploading the file we should use this type and then inside the form we are going to create an input field and the name is file we have to use the name we should not use empty because if you look at the documentation you can see if you want to get the file for example you should type name is equal to foo and then you can get the file by using request.files.foo so in this case if we name this as file we will get the file by using request.files.file so we already create a form and if you look at the page we missed the button so under the input field 
we have to create a button and type upload. Now there is a upload button. Now we are going to create a post request. So at here we type app.post and then request response and then we type if request.files exists then we are going to console.log the request.files and then we are going to render the index else we return there is no file now we go to the page and refresh and if you go to upload and without selecting any files we should not use render we should use send because this is not a page this is a text only so we try again if there is no files and then we click upload it will display the message there are low files so if we go to select files for example the image and then click upload now you can see at the server side you can see the all the information of that file and we can also get the file name by using request.files.file.name now if we choose another file and then click upload now you can see the file name here so the next part is we are going to create a folder we want all the files is stored inside this folder so we delete the console.log instead we are going to use the file name by correcting this as file name equal to request.files.file.name and we can also extract this as file so we can move the file by using file.mv and then we use template literal and then we choose the current directory and then slash store and then slash file name and then if error we are going to send the message there is error and then we are going to console.log the error in the server side we send a message upload successfully so we try again to upload a new file to see whether the file stored inside this folder so we choose a file and for example this image and then we click upload this is because we render the index at here so we should delete this because we already replied this error or upload successfully so we should not render the index at the end of this if statement so we try again and choose file and then click the image click open and press upload and it already sent the message upload successfully and we can take a look on the folder you can see the image that we just upload to this folder